hi everyone welcome back to my channel thank you so much for tuning in so today we're going to learn about the characteristics of a scientific method what are they replicability precision falsifiability and parsimony i know these words sound very fancy and difficult but i assure you this is a very easy topic so i've got your back okay but if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet then please hit that subscribe button and by the end of this video please do not forget to leave a like and a comment because they motivate me to make videos for you to bring you more important contents so please don't forget to do that anyways let us start the class now so let us learn what scientific method really means in simple words okay so it is a series of processes that people can use to gather knowledge about the world around them so in a scientific method one gains knowledge one improves that knowledge and attempts to explain why or how things occur the way they do and there are some essential uh, steps involved in uh, a scientific method they are you start off by making observations you observe your surrounding or whatever that is you're trying to study and then after that you form your questions a couple of them and then uh, based on those questions you come up with your own hypothesis and then next you proceed to doing an experiment you conduct an experiment and then whatever results whatever data were produced in that experiment you analyze them and you interpret them and the last stage is you form the conclusion to your study so these are some of the general steps uh, which are involved in a scientific method the exact steps of the scientific method may vary from source to source okay so it may differ but the general procedure stays the same what is that acquiring knowledge through observation and testing so this is what makes a method scientific so here is a more uh, technical definition of what scientific method is scientific method refers to a set of standardized set of techniques so it should be standardized they are universally accepted and are followed everywhere okay for building scientific knowledge your aim is to do what your aim is to build scientific knowledge such as how to make valid observations how to interpret results and how to generalize those results The scientific method allows researcher to independently and impartially test pre-existing theories and prior findings. You're definitely allowed to put old theories to test, okay? And you subject them to open debates, modifications or enhancements. So we have come to the most important part of our class today. The scientific method must have four very important characteristics. What are they? Replicability, precision, falsifiability and parsimony. So let us study them one by one. First we have replicability. So what in the world is replicability? I'll give you an example. Let us say you conducted a certain research study in a particular area uh, five years ago. Okay, five years ago, and uh, five years down the line, today I, I who happen to be a researcher, wants to conduct that same research that you carried out. Okay, the same research that you conducted five years ago, and so I carry out the research. and after the research is over i find that the results to my study are very similar to yours okay they are similar to the results of your study then that is when we say the research is replicable that my friend is what we mean by replicability when the results from a test or experiment can be replicated replicated means reproduced okay if the same research is repeated in other similar circumstances okay did i make myself clear 
if the same results come out every time that is they show consistent results then it tells us something it tells us that the results occurred not by chance or by luck so they are very reliable if the results of a scientific study cannot be replicated it becomes invalid so let's say if the results of your study 5 years ago okay produced something called a b c then after 5 years the same research conducted produced something called x y z then your research becomes invalid so an important quality of scientific method is it should be replicable so a research is replicable when others can repeat it and get the same results okay precision so there are theoretical concepts in this world which are very hard to measure sometimes okay so those theoretical concepts must be defined what do you mean by defined that means they are supposed to have a very definite outline they should be well specified okay with such precision that others can use those definitions others than yourself other researchers than yourself can use those definitions to measure those concepts and test that theory okay i'll explain this with an example and it will be more clear okay so just hang on in psychology let's take an example to make hypothesis more precise what do the psychologists do they use operational definitions to define the variables they study so what do i mean by this so i came across a very interesting example to explain precision and it's very simple and very easy to understand okay a psychologist conducts an experiment to find out whether toddlers are happier in warm weather or cool weather she needs to have an operational definition of happiness first so that she can measure precisely how happy the toddlers are she might operationally define happiness as the number of smiles per hour so this is what we mean by precision in a scientific method or a research you are supposed to define the terms that you're using you're supposed to define the concepts that you're using okay they should have specific outlines to avoid confusions and errors So here you'll notice that the psychologist is being very precise with the terms that she's using with the concepts that she's using. The lines should be drawn very clearly. Falsifiability. So what is that? Falsify to make something false. Okay? So let us say let's give an example. Uh you come up with a theory called A B C D, which is quite a funny name for a theory. A B C D is the theory that you came up with. And I say, "Hey, your theory A B C D is false. And I have evidence to support my claim that it is false, and I show you the evidence." This is called falsifiability. Hmm. The capacity for a theory or a hypothesis to be proven wrong or false. Example, let's say all swans are white. But is it true? No, right? This statement is falsifiable. Why? Because one can observe that black swans exist. It's not only white swans that exist, but there are black swans and the most important, there is evidence to prove it. Okay? So it is to be con- contradicted by evidence. If you hypothesize that all green apples are sour, tasting one that is sweet will falsify the hypothesis do you understand this it's very easy let us say you claim that green apples are sour but i bring you an apple which is green in color and it is sweet so i'm presenting to you the evidence that your claim that your hypothesis is wrong and the evidence is in my hand there are green apples which are sweet So theories that cannot be tested or falsified are not scientific theories okay so falsifiability was introduced by a guy called Karl 
popper. I want you to uh, note this name down. It's important. Okay? Karl Popper. Parsimony. So this is the last uh, of the four characteristics. It refers to the simplicity in explaining the phenomena or problems that occur and in generating the solution. So what it means is, if you are able to explain problems or phenomena using simple and easy to understand words instead of using big words, then that is the essence of parsimony. It gives importance to simplicity. Scientists must always accept the simplest or logically most economical explanation of a phenomena. So when I say economical explanation, I mean refrain from using unnecessary superfluous words or terms. Just stick to the most easy ones, okay? Parsimony is also called Occam's razor. I'll get to the next slide uh, and talk more about Occam's razor, okay? It gives priority to simplicity. It prevents scientists from pursuing overly complex or outlandish theories with endless number of concepts and relationships. So this is Occam's razor as written uh, in Britannica. It is also called the law of economy or the law of parsimony. It was stated by a philosopher monk, William of Occam. This principle gives precedence to simplicity, means giving priority, giving more importance, okay? More importance to simplicity of two competing theories. The simpler explanation of an entity is to be preferred. So let us say there are two theories, two competing theories. You have to go with the one which is the most simplest, the most simplest of the explanations, okay? The principle is also expressed as entities are not to be multiplied beyond necessity. So maybe in the exam, uh, they might give you this principle. Entities are not to be multiplied beyond necessity. And you may be asked to choose which one of the characteristics it belongs to. Okay. Finally, we have come to the end of this uh, chapter. Uh, here is an example. Theology. That is the study of religion is not considered to be science. Why? Because theological ideas such as the presence of God, doctrine of sin, etc. cannot be tested cannot be tested by independent observers using a replicable, precise, falsifiable and parsimonious method. So any branch of inquiry which uh, does not involve these four very important methods, they cannot be considered science. So we have a previous year question, match the following. The features with their respective descriptive explanations. So we'll start off with precision which we have just learned now. Precision, extensive and detailed description, including instrument, validity, and reliability. So the key word to note here is extensive and detailed description. As I've already mentioned before, the variables, the terms, the concepts that you're using in your study should be well-defined. Okay, they should be well outlined. So since B is five, let us cancel out the wrong uh, options. 2 and 3. Okay? So we're left with 1 and 4. A parsimonious explanation. Reduce complex realities to simple explanation of phenomena. So, since C is 4, our answer will be number 1. So, uh, empiricism will be guided by evidence obtained from systematic research and uh, research methods. Verification will be results can be confirmed or revised in subsequent research. So next is, again, match the following. Uh, the methods with their description. Okay, so we'll start off with parsimony. Parsimony is explanations should be as simple as possible. So since A is 4, let us cancel out 1, three and four that means our answer is two which is very easy empiricism will be knowledge should be grounded in observation and precision will be research statement should be based on accurate measurements 
Objectivity will be interpretation of research should not reflect personal biases.